Having a well-designed app is critical to ensuring your users can effectively navigate the features of your app. But how is that achieved? In this short video, we'll build on the simple app we created in the previous lesson and focus on the design of our directory app. Follow along in your own Thunkable account and you'll be well on your way to building your first Thunkable app. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to define an app's goal, add label and image components to an app, and build an MVP app and know what MVP stands for in this context. Let's get to it. The first step of developing an app is identifying the goal of the app. What problem do you want it to solve? We're building an employee directory app an app that employees can use to learn more about their colleagues. But you can use the same tutorial with other types of data, like books you've read or types of software tools at your company. You probably have many ideas for features you'd like to build into your app. But for the first version, let's keep it simple and focus on the single most important aspect of the app. From there, we'll have a strong foundation that we can iterate on over time. We call this first version the Minimal Viable Product, or MVP. This version of your app has just enough features to be helpful for your target user. No need for bells or whistles at this point. Build a strong foundation to start and then improve and iterate on it over time. Here's the simple app we created in the previous video with just a couple of components in it. We'll design and expand on the app's current user interface or front end here on the Thunkable Design tab. We want the MVP app to have two screens. This first screen will display a list of employees, and when a user clicks on an employee in the list, it will open a second screen with the employee's profile. Let's start with the first screen, the one that will display a list of employees. We already have a title on the top of the screen, but it's not very polished. So let's head over to the Properties panel for this label component and make some changes. Let's change the font, color, weight, and size of the label. Let's also add the Thunkable Company logo to the home screen. Drag an image component onto your screen. Then in the Properties panel, click in the Picture field and click to upload a file from your computer or type in the image's URL. Resize and position the image. We'll leave the space below to add the list of employees in the next lesson. Let's move on to the Employee Profile screen. A common misconception in app development is that you need to create a different screen for each employee. We'll guide you through why this is inefficient in another lesson. For now, let's go ahead and design one screen with placeholder fields. When we connect our app to a data source in the next video, we'll be able to pull the employee details from the spreadsheet to populate these placeholder fields. Let's get to it. At the top of the screen, we'll put the employee's name. And of course, let's not forget to rename the component to keep our components organized as we continue to add more to our app. Let's add a field for the employee's preferred pronouns under their name. And rename the component. It will be helpful for employees to see a photo of their colleagues, so let's drag and drop an image component onto the screen and enlarge it. Next, let's add two labels to display the employee's email address. The first will indicate what information is being displayed. And the second will be populated from the employee data source we'll add in the next lesson. Let's repeat the process we just did for the employee's email address for their department. Now 
there are three additional fields we want to include on the employee profile screen. Title, Location, and Fun Fact. Let's turn up the tunes and add the components for each of those remaining fields. And just like that, you've designed an MVP directory app. In the next lesson, we'll display a list of the employees on the team screen by connecting our app to a data source or spreadsheet. And remember, app building is an iterative process. We will adapt and build additional features as we continue on our app development journey. Here's a quick summary of all the things you are now able to do. Define an app's goal. Add label and image components to an app. Build an MVP app. Thanks for tuning in for how to design a Thunkable app. Join us for the next video in the How to Build Your First Thunkable App course, How to Connect a Thunkable App to a Data Source, where you'll learn how to pull data into your app design. And remember, if you can think it, you can thunk it. <laughs>